The time has come. The Andromeda Milky Way merger has begun. Scientists have now discovered a strange ring that could be the first sign of the two galaxies merging. The ring was discovered by amateur astronomers, rather by chance, and scientists were amazed that they had overlooked the gigantic structure for a long time. This means nothing less than that the merger of the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy began far earlier than assumed. Things could soon get uncomfortable, because the first stars have already flown out of Andromeda and are now approaching the Milky Way. The Andromeda Galaxy is moving rapidly toward the Milky Way, that much we have known for a long time, and simulations have shown that the two will certainly collide, and that this meeting will end in a gigantic merger. Examples such as the Antennae Galaxy show that galaxy encounters do not always have to lead to a merger. Another galaxy scraped past it, but this did not lead to a complete merger, but only to an interesting influence in which both galaxies involved underwent significant changes. The striking antenna, for example, was created by the influence of the passing galaxy. The galaxy drags parts of the neighboring galaxy behind it like a tail. The meeting of the Milky Way and Andromeda will turn out differently. The two are on such a direct collision course that a single galaxy will have formed after the meeting. Milkdromeda will be a gigantic galaxy that will be far larger than the mere addition of the Milky Way and Andromeda. Our Milky Way and our next largest neighboring galaxy are similar in size and diameter, although Andromeda is slightly larger. However, the Andromeda galaxy contains far more stars than our home galaxy and is therefore much brighter, denser, and has a completely different structure. So a gigantic and very complex galaxy meets a rather fluffy one. The result will be a galaxy that will probably be disc-shaped. Whether and to what extent spiral structures will be preserved we are not yet quite sure. Although we have simulations and have also found signs that the great marriage of the two has already begun, we will not live to see the result itself. The merger will take billions of years. The halo of the Andromeda galaxy has already collided with that of the Milky Way. It was known that the two galaxies would merge, but we didn't know when this would happen. Experts estimate a few million to billion years from now. All the more astonishing are reports that the big wedding has already begun. A few months ago, some amateur astronomers discovered a gigantic ring that extends around the entire Andromeda galaxy. This sensational discovery was made with a very simple telescope that cost no more than a few hundred dollars. At first, the amateur stargazers could not believe what they saw in their photos of Andromeda a halo that only glowed faintly and was only visible because the three discoverers used a special filter to better display the gases of Andromeda. The Andromeda galaxy is certainly one of the most photographed and researched galaxies in the universe, and none of the professional astronomers have ever seen anything of this ring. Even telescopes costing billions of dollars have been unable to detect it. What exactly the ring is has never been clarified. All we know is that it is a strange gas vapor that cannot actually come from Andromeda itself, as this gas is practically non-existent within the galaxy. Further investigations have shown that it could be a previously unrecognized part of the galaxy's halo. However, there is also an interesting theory according to which the ring is the first sign of the gigantic galaxy merger. Experiments have shown that the special gas composition of the ring could be a result of the interaction of the halos of the outer rows of stars of both galaxies with intergalactic space. In fact, there is already a large network of gases that stretches almost halfway across the Milky Way. So the exchange has definitely already begun. Data from the Hubble Space Telescope also showed evidence that the halos of the two galaxies are already colliding. We could call this the first delicate brushing and approaching of the two galaxies. The Timetable for the Collision Galaxies don't just meet and say hello or simply pass each other by, at least not from our point of view. The encounters of the giants take place incredibly slowly and last millions to billions of years. From the galaxy's point of view, this may really only be a moment, but from our point of view, these are apochs that we can hardly grasp with our minds. In around 3.75 billion years, the galaxies should experience their first convergence. Then, the matter components of the two galaxies will surely collide. This will drastically change the attraction of star systems.
The gravity of both giants will trigger incredible changes within both systems. This does not necessarily have to lead to destruction and chaos. Precisely because this convergence takes place so slowly, mergers of galaxies can also be very gentle for the most part. On the whole, the merger resembles a dance that forms a unit from two partners. What is certain is that the forces that the two exert on each other will nevertheless be extreme. The pressure and intense interactions will lead to a phase of extreme star formation. The forces will cause the gas and dust supplies of both galaxies to rotate violently, leading to the formation of new stars. For this reason, the number of stars after the marriage will be far higher than if we only take the estimated star quantities of both galaxies together. The processes will also significantly change the structures within both galaxies. Dynamics will change significantly, and the direction of rotation of the cores and arms will change. In the course of the next billion years, the nuclei of the galaxies will merge completely and form a large disk-shaped elliptical galaxy. The gigantic marriage will also mean a merger of the two black holes at the center of the galaxies. In fact, the two will attract each other so violently that they can be seen as the actual engines of the merger. It is difficult to imagine what happens when two black giants of this size collide. The physical forces at work here are beyond our imagination. For millions of years, the two will just dance around each other, probably sucking in unimaginably large amounts of matter and shining so brightly that they will multiply the luminosity of the galaxies by a thousand. A Galaxy Wedding from a Starry Perspective Let's take a look at this event from the perspective of a star system. Whether our sun still exists at this time is questionable. It will probably shine for another 4.5 billion years and then slowly blow up into a supernova. It will therefore still see the beginning of the fusion. We are located in one of the outer spiral arms of the Milky Way and we would probably be the first to notice the changes. The gravitational pull of Andromeda would whirl star systems around, throw planets out of their orbits, and cause a complete reorganization. We now know, for example, that evolutionary processes within our own galaxy have caused our planets to change their positions several times. Jupiter has pushed Mercury closer and closer to the Sun over the course of millions and billions of years and could one day eject it from the solar system. Neptune is so strange that scientists believe it was formed inside the solar system or migrated from another solar system. These are changes that were and are surprising, but they are harmless compared to the changes that star systems and planets undergo when two galaxies merge. Star systems could be whirled around and planets pushed out of their orbits. Possibly some smaller planets or those with a fragile composition would be destroyed. Others could begin migrations, solar systems could exchange planets, or stars could wander freely through the new galaxy without planets until they have perhaps bound other bodies to them. There would probably be a colorful mixture that we can hardly imagine now. The chaos would last for billions of years and then a new order would emerge. However, this is all so far in the future that it's questionable whether humans will still be around. Gravitational Attraction Despite Expansion? Our universe is very probably expanding, which means that space and the objects in it are constantly expanding. As a result, the distances between galaxies are continuously increasing without the proper motion of the galaxies playing a role here. So how can it be that galaxies meet so violently if they are actually being pushed away from each other by the expansion of the universe? There is a very simple answer to this. Although the universe is expanding, the approach of the two galaxies is caused by gravitational attraction. At relatively short distances, this is far stronger than the expansion. Andromeda and the Milky Way are currently only around 3 million light years apart. On a cosmic scale, that's a stone's throw. The two have been close for a very long time, and galaxies probably also move through the cosmos on invisible lines. These so-called filaments are the traffic routes and paths of the universe, and they contribute to the collision in their own way. We could also say that the two galaxies share a single road and must inevitably collide on it. Somewhere in this jumble, there are also two other galaxies. The small and large Magellanic Clouds are companion galaxies of the Milky Way and will slowly merge into the Milky Way before the marriage between the two large galaxies. However, 
the merging of the comparatively small galaxies is far less dramatic than the merger with Andromeda. What do hypervelocity stars reveal? Another exciting indication of the incipient collision are so-called hypervelocity stars. These stars race through space at enormous speeds, leaving the gravitational binding of their galaxy. These stars could have been ejected from the Andromeda galaxy by interactions with supermassive black holes or by stellar explosions. They are now slowly beginning to move into the Milky Way. It will probably only be a matter of time before the first stars are also ejected from the Milky Way to become part of the newly forming Milkdromeda galaxy. The question is whether this could happen to our Sun. Researchers see no danger here, because although we are in a spiral arm, we are not quite at the edge. In addition, our spiral arm does not point directly into the areas that will most likely interact with the Andromeda galaxy first. However, it cannot be completely ruled out that we will already notice minor effects of the galaxy's approach in the coming decades or centuries. We don't know whether this could be dangerous for humanity. If our star comes under pressure or upsets the solar system, this would of course be fatal for the balance and our Earth would experience serious changes. Click subscribe now to receive even more exciting videos.